I started the Open Medicine Foundation, which we call OMF, uh, to find a cure for this illness, um, ME-CFS. And for people like Whitney and my daughter and millions around the world that live with this incapacitating disease. And this past year, uh, Ron Davis and I uh, joined forces. Ron brought together a unbelievable, remarkable scientific advisory board. We are grateful and proud to say that we've included uh, three Nobel laureates and six members of the National Academy of Sciences and other top leaders in, in research and in multiple fields to pull and lead this great effort and to bring on other scientists that uh, can bring their uh, expertise to the fold and be led to uh, find a cure for this illness. Let me tell you how the Open Medicine Foundation is working for a cure. As Open Medicine Foundation, we're the ones that need to raise the money. And we're the ones that have a neutral forum and a framework to be able to bring researchers from multiple institutions and from multiple disciplines to bring them together in a collaborative, open environment. We have a lot less overhead than, than universities and institutions. As a foundation, we can use the money for research, which is what we need to do. We can engage the patient community all over the world because as a foundation, we have thousands of touch points to patients all over the world. They've signed up, they get our newsletter, and anything that we need, if we need to find patients for clinical trials, if we need to find people in different countries, we have touch point to many, many patients. And most research doesn't have that touch point, and we have that already. We'll be able to collect and analyze data, accelerate research at the top institutions that are already doing research. So we're not reinventing the wheel. We're trying to do something very cost-effective here. So if we're going to be doing a test, we're gonna find out which is the best institute that already does that test and do the tests at those institutes rather than reinventing the wheel. And this great effort is called the END MECFS project. So uh, my feeling is the best way to solve this problem is to make observation first. Now, not just go in and make a few observations, no. Make millions or billions of observations. We're capable of doing that. So what like, well, my plan would be is to take uh, uh, a, a collection of patients and collect more data on them than has ever been collected on a human being before by maybe orders of magnitude. And we basically will, will assay everything we can possibly assay. So I think we first have to convince the scientific community, the medical community that's real, one way to do that is a lot of data. Now, another way to convert that information is we call it biomarkers. In other words, if you have this information, you have the disease. I don't expect necessarily that I'm gonna solve this problem. This is a horrible problem and a big one. But what I can do is, is start a movement. But I'm very optimistic. I think that we're on a very rapid change because of technologies uh, in treating a, a number of diseases. And what we're doing here isn't just going to help us and Whitney, it's going to help millions of chronic fatigue syndrome patients in an amazing pioneering effort.